What is up guys, welcome back to another Fallout video, and today I'm bringing you a modded character build for Fallout 4, and this is the first time I've ever done this, so I hope you guys do enjoy it, and um, this character build is going to be like a marine squad type build, so you're going to have some teammates with you with heavy weapons, sniper rifles, and assault rifles, and stuff like that, so you're going to be pretty powerful in numbers, so if you guys do go on to like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Okay guys, so the mods we're going to be using in this video are the pre-war preparation mod, and this is what you're going to be using to get the majority of your weapons for your build. You're also going to need the cheat room mod, which is going to be needed to get most of your armor. With that, you're going to need a tactical marine mod, and this is going to be one of your squad mates that has the assault rifle. The assault marine, which is going to have the shotgun and combat armor type stuff. You're also going to need the Marine Marine mod, and this is going to have a sniper rifle. And then the final thing you're going to need is the Heavy Marine mod, and it's going to have a mini gun and a whole bunch of armor, so it's going to be pretty badass. And for this build, I just want you to keep in mind that I didn't make it so you're just stupid OP, and it's not really fun in the game, really, because if you just one-shot all the enemies and you're, like, impossible to die, you know, it's not really going to be fun. I kind of want to leave in the middle of a challenge, so your guns are going to be super OP, but they're still really good. I mean, as you can see here against the super mutants, they do take a lot of damage sometimes to kill them, especially the warlords, but I mean, what's the fun in just, you know, one-shotting everyone and never being able to die, because it's going to get boring after a while. But your squad mates are going to help you a lot, especially the minigun one. He is really, really good against pretty much any enemy, just because he puts so many rounds down range. And just ignore Hancock in this gameplay, I don't know why he's here, he's just along for the ride, I guess. And if you do want to make it more of a challenge, you don't have to use the squad mates, you can just use two of them or just one of them if you want more of a challenge, because it does make it kind of easy when there's like five guys with you, but even with that, I mean, there's still not stupid OP after a while, you know, I mean, this still does take a long time to battle a whole bunch of enemies, and they're just kind of cool to chill with, because they can help you out a lot in gunfights. So now that you know all the mods that you're going to be using, go ahead and download all the ones that you want to use, and I will show you guys how to find all the armor, find all the weapons, and then get to all the places that you're going to need to go. So for the pre-war preparation mod, you're going to want to go to Sanctuary and go ahead into Workshop Mode, and then head over to this house I'm going to in the gameplay, and then go into, uh, one of the bedrooms, and if you go to the rug and delete it, there's going to be a safe underneath of it, and there's going to be the basement keys to get into the pre-war preparation room itself. So now that you have the keys, go ahead and head over to the laundry room, which is just across the hall, and go ahead and open the basement door. And then once you get in here, you're going to be going into a room that you can actually use the workshop for and build in here, but what we're here for is the military fatigues and the weapons. You can also use the army fatigues if you want, I just like the look of the military fatigues fatigues better just because I think they look more of like a marine but it's pretty much your choice. While you're down here you can also get the rad eggs and stem packs and all the other type of useful materials down here if you want. There's also ammo to use and everything so if you don't have that you can go ahead and take them or if you already have them don't. It doesn't really matter just the main thing you want to get here is go into the weapons locker and just take the three weapons that's going to be part of our build. And as you can see here, when you go into the door, this is the room that the weapons are going to be in. They're going to be in like sort of like a little case for them. So, as you can see, I'm just looking down around here, but the weapon cases are going to be on top of this little cabinet over here. As you can see, the ASR case, you're going to ha have to have to lockpick it. It's just a novice one, so it's going to be pretty easy to unlock and everything. But there's like a whole bunch of mods you can also equip for it, but I just wanted to take the weapon just to get over faster with. But you can attach the mods and make them pretty much anything you really want to do. You can put a sniper rifle on this one, which basically is a sniper rifle right here. And then next one, there's going to be an ACR gun case lock pick it and then inside of it it's going to be your assault rifle for the build like I said you can mod a whole bunch of it but I'm just here for the gun next to the ACR is the ACP this is just gonna be your pistol so go ahead and lock pick it I don't know why it's so much trouble on this one it's just a novice lock but I don't know mess suck or anything but there is the uh, pistol right here and like all the other ones you can mod it more but um, I mean I just kept, like to keep it simple so once you have all the weapons go over to this little weapons locker right here and this is where you're going to be getting the field stealth knife which is a very very good knife and if I must add because it does so much damage and it's um, pretty much a one shot kill on anything and while you're in this go ahead and get the military fatigues these are the ones I like you can also get the army ones whichever one you like better is pretty much your choice. And while you are down here, go ahead and take any of the frag grenades or pulse grenades that are down here. Also, take some food or anything that helps you uh, get your health back if you don't already have it. And then once you are done, just go ahead and leave and we'll be going to get the armor now. So to get to the cheat room, go ahead and just head up towards Sanctuary. There is a fast travel place to it, so it's pretty much by Vault 111. It looks the same as Vault 111 too. So once you are in here, go ahead and find the room with the uh, armor in it. There's a whole bunch of random stuff. There's also like super, super OP weapons that just annihilates anything in its path. Don't take those, I mean, unless you want them, but they kind of interfere with the build. So 
I couldn't really remember where I had the weapons at, so just go ahead and find them. It's really not that hard, but once you find the um, uh, places for the armor and stuff, go ahead and find the combat armor, and you can either do this, or you can just take them off one of your squad mates, which is what I did, but basically just find whichever one you want. If you don't want to take them off, I just find them, but sometimes it can't take a while because they pretty much have any like item in the game in one chest, so it's going to take a, lot of a long time to look through them, so... Whichever you want to do, do it. Doesn't really matter. I'd like to add, go ahead and take the combat armor or helmet because you can't get these off the guys. So either way, you're going to have to look for that one because you aren't going to need it for your headpiece because you can't find them on the guys and it just adds a lot more armor. So now that you are all fully decked out, you have very, very good armor and you have all your weapons. You are ready to face people in the wasteland. Okay, so how you're going to get your little squad mate guys is basically just go to, once you've assembled all of them, go to... Uh, Vault 111, just fast travel there, and they should just spawn in, and if they don't, I guess keep trying it, they shouldn't have a problem with it, but if they do, I don't know what to tell you, but, um, so your FW Heavy Marine guy is going to be armed with a FW minigun, which is very, very powerful, and uh, obviously a pair of FW combat armor, and like I said, just go to Vault 111 and he should spawn there. Your FW Recon Marine is going to be armed with a FW Sniper Rifle and FW Combat Armor, and just like the other one, it's going to spawn outside of Vault 111. Your FW Assault Marine is going to be equipped with a FW Combat Shotgun and Combat Armor, and just like all the other ones, it's found outside of Vault 111. And finally, the FW Tactical Marine is going to be equipped with an FW Assault Rifle and FW Combat Armor, and, like the other ones, it's going to be located outside of Vault 111. So once you have all your guys, your build is going to be pretty much complete, and like I said, if you want more of a challenge, you don't have to have equip all these guys, but I just think it's a lot more fun. So the weapon you are seeing on screen right now is the ACR, and this is probably my favorite out of the three weapons, just because it is the assault rifle. Of the three ones, there's going to be a sniper rifle, an assault rifle, and a pistol, and I guess a knife if you count that as uh, one of the weapons, so I guess there's four. But I like this one just because it's semi-automatic and you can put a lot of rounds down range and it does keep up with its damage and it holds 40 rounds so you're not going to be running out of ammo very quickly. And the weapon you're seeing right now is the ACP which is going to be the pistol and this has a very very good fire rate and very good accuracy. I mean not maybe, you can't really show it because I'm shooting at these like bugs but they're really hard to hit and it's very accurate for being a pistol and I have really enjoyed it. Right here is a sniper rifle, and this is probably my least favorite just because it takes a long time to shoot, and it doesn't do a very good amount of damage, but um, overall, it's not too bad. I guess if you put a scope on it, like um, I don't have one, I have one of the holographic sights, but if you put a scope on it, it might be easier to hit enemies because sometimes you do miss them even though you're aiming right at them, but it's probably my least favorite. It does about the same amount of damage, just a little bit more than the assault rifle, so why use that one whenever it's semi-automatic when I can just use this one that's I can shoot way faster, you know? So the final weapon I'm going to be talking about is the field knife, which is one of the most powerful ones, and the armor is really good. As you can see, I just took a point blank shot from a suicidal super mutant, but as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and kill a super mutant with one shot with this knife. It is very, very powerful, and it's very good with sneaking, sneaking up on enemies and getting around them because you don't have to worry about alerting enemies like from actually just knifing them. So if you go up behind them, you're going to get a point blank shot. It's going to kill them in one shot, and you don't have to worry about alerting enemies around you. So Right here, you're going to see it like one shot some, and it's a warlord one, so it's very powerful. So that's pretty much all I have to show you guys today, and hopefully you did enjoy the build. It's, the, it's like the first video I've done on this, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. I've actually received a whole bunch of requests on to do these, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Feel free to like leave some more requests if you want to see one that's good for sniping, or good for like one being stealth and stuff like that. Feel free to comment it in the comment section and let me know, because I'll probably do it. If you guys did enjoy the music you heard in here, go ahead and check out the Polder guy. It's um He's really good. He does a lot of remixes to like Frank Sinatra and a whole bunch of like really good people from back in the day And I thought it matched very well with the uh, gameplay which is Fallout 4 because Fallout 4 is like an older type stuff So I thought it matched really well go check it out There's a link in the description if you do like it and I actually had a lot of fun making this video And you guys can probably tell because it's just a nice change of pace in the mod stuff I've been doing like the top five stuff and I had a lot of fun getting the gameplay and making it and stuff like that And I feel like you guys can really see that in my work, you know, I feel like I put a lot more effort to, into it whenever I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and it's really fun to do. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.